Руслана Саем! Tired of sitting in traffic? Breathing carbon dioxide every time when you're near a road? Well, I want to introduce to you Anatoly Yunitsky, an engineer who solved many urban problems. And how did he do it? That's what we're going to find out right now. Hello, my name is Ruslana and I want to ask you a couple of questions concerning your new type of mobility. The Emirates have very different types of transportation such as monorails, metros and trams. Why are we required to have an additional type of transportation? I'm an inventor and I took the best from all these industries and technologies and made a fusion of it. Compared to all other systems, this one is the most efficient, environmentally friendly and cost effective and the most safe way for transportation. Why is this the most efficient way of transportation? Let's take as an example Dubai Metro. Let's have a closer look at the heavy concrete beams with short spans. Just think at the amount of concrete and rebus that were required. It's actually all quite expensive. And please compare it with our light system. We will go to test it now. Look at what a light system it is. The running meter of the system weighs less than 50 kg, while the existing system of beams bridge and interchanges weighs more than 100 tons per running meter. Therefore, our system is significantly more cost efficiently. So your module is much more lighter and therefore it's more effective. What inspired you this idea? I was an inventor from my childhood probably even younger than your age now. When I was seven years old, I was engineering and launching the rockets. I have invented a new system how to conquer the space without the rockets, to relocate all industrial sector to the space. And as part of that invention, I have developed a new system. What inspired me and what importance it will give for humanity. Every year, 1 million and 200 thousands of people are dying in the traffic accidents. For 10 years, more than 12 millions of people will die. It's more than population of all people in the UAE. And we can save these lives. Moreover, nowadays, under the bridges, railways and roads, it's buried a lot of land, actually the size of five Great Britons. This land is dead. Nothing is growing there. There is no life on it. This land we can return back because we are using a second level and our columns don't take a lot of land. And all land which we are using in construction we can recultivate. See, this is our office and it's full of greeneries because all the land was taken from our construction. I see. Thank you very much for your answer. Why did you decide to construct this in Sharjah? Here we have the Sharjah Research Technology and Innovation Park. We knew about that and as this area is part of the American University, we also can prepare future specialists and staff here. And they are interested in innovations. We are renting a plot of land, 3 square kilometers, for construction of testing model of our system to demonstrate how it works. I believe that Sharjah is the most innovative emirate in the UAE. The American University in Sharjah helped us. Wow! This will change the world and make the future more eco-friendly. Let's work on this together. Can you explain to us how this works? It is a high-speed unibus. We call it Flash and its estimated speed is about 500 km per hour. It's the only electromobile on steel wheels with no analogs in the world. It's the most efficient electrotransport with excellent aerodynamics. We have managed to upgrade aerodynamic compared to sport cars in seven times and it's capable to move six people compared to only two passengers in the sport vehicle. Here in the UAE, we are building a pilot model, but later we will construct it all around the globe.
How do you feel here? The transport of the future. We are on the passenger station. We have a stream road and a vehicle to move on it. We call it stream because of pre-traced stream inside the rail. Why is it called a string system? It's a special steel of Reebok quality and it holds a vehicle which is moving on it. And that's how a future station will look like. What were some of the challenges that you were facing while building? One of the main challenge was that the power of tension is extremely high. So we should calculate all the loadings correctly and to build a station which is capable to withstand such force. But we have solved all these issues and as you see we can enjoy a ride here. Well, first of all, there is a beautiful view, so you can fly with comfort, and it's very interesting to see this is how the road to the future looks like. This is the heart of our system. Sadly, I'm operating these cars and uh, I'm operating maintenance this all the cars every time mm -hmm. as proper channel. So your job is to basically drive the cars and control the cars. And now I'm going to operate the actual cars. Now I'm going to return it back using magic, actually computer science. And that's how the road to the future looks like. This design is very sustainable since it doesn't emit carbon dioxide and it also is very space conserving since it doesn't take up any land in the urban areas. And it's also very safe and efficient because of its very fast speed. It has a very futuristic design. That's all for today. See you soon in Ruslana Science.